Hello, welcome to scardia.com. Today, the topic of our lecture is the pituitary gland and the disorders related to the pituitary gland. I am Amarul Hassan. Today's lecture is divided into the five sections. The section one comprises of the hypopituitarism, which means that the pituitary gland secretes certain hormones. These hormones are deficient. One or two hormones are deficient, which are uh, manifesting the clinical symptoms in the patient. And it includes the pituitary tumors and the Shan syndrome, the pituitary apoplexy, heterogenic hypopituitarism, uh, as well as the infiltrative disease. These are all the causes which can lead to the hypopituitarism. While the second section is related to the growth hormone abnormalities, its uh, diagnosis, and basically the clinical presentation of the growth hormone deficiency that the hope the patient presents with the growth hormone deficiency, as well as the growth hormone excess. That what are the symptoms that when the excessive amount of the growth hormone is produced by the anterior pituitary what are the clinical picture or what are the clinical symptoms are discussed in this section then there is a comparison of the gigantism uh, and the acromegaly which is basically the clinical manifestation of the excess of growth hormone in the third uh, section there is the uh, pituitary adenomas uh, the most common pituitary adenoma is basically the prolactinoma will be discussed in detail over there it's uh, cl a clinical picture along with the diagnosis and the management will be discussed while in the fourth section there are the other types of the pituitary adenomas there are different cells which creates the uh, abnormal amount of the hormone resulting into the adenomas and the clinical manifestation and these cells are basically the somatotroph uh, which releases the growth hormone uh, the electrotroph uh, releasing the FSH and LH and the other cells will be discussed over there the thyrotroph adenomas in which there is a picture of the hyperthyroidism uh, or the Hashimoto thyroiditis in which there is an excessive amount of uh, thyroid hormone secreted by the uh, thyroid gland under the influence of the thyroid tropin releasing hormone which come from the uh, anterior pituitary uh, under the influence of the TSH uh, while uh, the last section the five comprises of the posterior pituitary the anterior pituitary constitute basically 80% of the total gland and the posterior pituitary is just about 20% it the main uh, hormones which are secreted from that is the oxytocin as well as the uh, ADH. So the mechanism of the diabetes insipidus will be discussed in uh, this section along with the certain complications such as the craniopharyngiomas will be discussed. If you're interested do watch the other section of this lecture.